Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving an exponential system. I'll be presenting three methods and let's start with the first one. So we have 2 to the power x equals 3 to the power y equals 72 and we're supposed to evaluate 3 over x plus 2 over y. Let's start with the first method. For my first method, I'm going to go ahead and set each of these expressions equal to 72. So 2 to the power x equals 72. And then from here, I can go ahead and break down the 72 into 8 times 9. So I'm going to do the prime factorization as 2 to the third times 3 to the second. And then from here, dividing both sides by this, I'm getting 2 to the power x minus 3 equals 3 to the power 2. Because if you divide two powers, you subtract their exponents, right? If they have the same base. Cool. And from here, what I can get is, we'll take a look at it next. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for 3, and then we'll know what to do. So for the 3, 3 to the y equals 72, we'll do the same thing pretty much. Break down the 72 into 2 to the third times 3 to the second. But this time, instead of the 2, bring the 3 over here by way of division. And that's going to give you 3 to the power. Let me show my work here. So we're dividing both sides by 3 to the second. And that's what we get, right? So here, 3 to the second cancels out. And we end up with the following. 3 to the power y minus 2 equals 2 to the third. So now I have two equations. Right? How can I put these two together? That's going to be the question here. What I can do is, actually from here, I can isolate the 3. So let's go ahead and divide these exponents by 2 on both sides. So I can do 2, in other words, raising both sides to the power 1 half, or square rooting both sides. 2 to the power x minus 3 over 2 equals 3 to the power 2 over 2, which is 1. So I can write it that way. And now, this is something I can substitute here. So I'll replace the 3 with 2 to the power something. Makes sense? That way I'm going to have the same base. So that's the whole idea. Replace 3 with 2 to the power x minus 3 over 2. This 3, I'm talking about this 3. And then raise it to the power y minus 2. That comes from here, as you know. And that equals 2 to the third. That kind of looks complicated at first, but then once you know what you're supposed to do, the rest is actually easy. Now, we're going to multiply the exponents. So this is going to become 2 to the power x minus 3 times y minus 2 divided by 2 equals 2 to the power 3. Now, we have the same base, so we can go ahead and set the exponents equal. That gives us x minus 3 times y minus 2 over 2 equals 3 and cross multiplication gives us x minus 3 times y minus 2 equals 6 and then let's go ahead and distribute on the left hand side because we're going to get something interesting when you distribute you're going to get xy minus 2x minus 3y plus 6 equals 6 negative times negative 6 cancels out we end up with 0 now I can go ahead and do a couple different things here but let's isolate xy add 2x plus 3y right and then why am i getting xy by itself but you always got to keep in mind what you're trying to find right keep it in perspective so 3 over x plus 2 over y is what i'm supposed to evaluate are we closer if you make a common denominator here you're going to get 3y plus 2x divided by xy makes sense now think about that and see how we can use this expression well all you have to do is divide both sides by xy and you'll get the answer makes sense so this gives you 1, and now I'm kind of working backwards, but 3y plus 2x over xy equals 1 from here. And then if you separate it, y cancels out, like I'm writing it this way and this way. When the y cancels out and the x cancels out, I end up with 3 over x plus 2 over y equals 1. And that's what I was trying to evaluate. Make sense? So the answer is... One. But that's just with the first method. Let's see if we can get the same thing with the second method. Okay. So if 2 to the x is equal to 72, 
For my second method, I'm going to go ahead and actually align both sides. So let's go ahead and space it out a little bit. Right this here. And now we're going to LN both sides. Natural log. X, you can move it to the front. X LN2 equals LN72. And from here, I can actually solve for X. So the second method basically solves for X and Y. And now we're going to plug it in. That's the whole idea. Make sense? So this is X. And similarly, we can find Y. That will be LN72 over LN3. Because think about it. 2 is replaced with 3, we do the exact same things. Make sense? Now, we're going to go ahead and plug these into 3 over x plus 2 over y, because this is what we're trying to evaluate. So 3 over x, which is ln 72 over ln 2, plus 2 over y, which is ln 72 over ln 3. When uh, we're dividing fractions, you can think of this as 3 over 1 and this as 2 over 1. We flip the bottom one, right? In other words, we multiply the top and the bottom by the reciprocal. So this is basically how this works. ln2 over ln72, ln2 over ln72. That's how division is uh, explained with fractions. Multiply by the reciprocal. And, you know, division is basically multiplication. And th with complex numbers, we do something similar, but instead we multiply by the conjugate, right? Not by the reciprocal. So these become 1. So the answer is going to be 3 ln 2 over ln 72 plus 2 ln 3 over ln 72. Since we have a common denominator, we can go ahead and combine these two th fractions. Right? And now what can we do? We can go ahead and use the power rules. Right? But this time, uh, we're using them backwards. I don't know why notability uh, likes to jump around like that. But anyways... Uh, go ahead and put these back. You get ln 2 to the 3rd plus ln 3 to the 2nd over ln 72. But 2 to the 3rd is 8, so it's going to be ln 8 plus ln 9 over ln 72. And using the product rule, this is ln 8 times 9, which is ln 72 over ln 72. And the answer is 1. Make sense? Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the third method real quick, and then we'll be finished. So three, 2 to the x equals 3 to the y equals 72. Let's go ahead and focus on these two first. Let's go ahead and divide both the exponents by y on both sides. That way, we're writing uh, one of them in terms of the other, sort of. Now, I'm going to start with 72 and write it as 9 times 8. This method looks like the, I think, the first method, but it's different, I think. Anyways, uh, replace 9 with 3 squared and 8 with 2 to the third, so in other words, prime factorization. At this point, replace the 3 with 2 to the power x, x over y. Makes sense? 2 to the power x over y, and now we're going to raise it to the second, multiply by 2 to the third. Now we're going to multiply exponents, 2 to the power 2x over y times 2 to the third. Now we're going to add the exponents, right? And then make a common denominator. See where I'm getting? Okay. That's what we got so far. Well, what is this equal to? 72. Let's write it down. 2 to the power 2x plus 3y over y is 72. But at the same time, 72 is equal to 2 to the power x. Uh-oh, that's great. So we can go ahead and set these equal to each other directly. The exponents are equal. 2x plus 3y over y equals x. Cross multiply or multiply both sides by 1 over x. It's even better by 1 over x, 1 over x, you get 1 here. And on the left-hand side, you get 2x plus 3y over xy equals 1 as before. And that is 2 over y plus 3 over x equals 1 as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and hasta la vista.